is Umar Farouk again, and um, I'm making this screencast to put us through on how to make use of the um, SA11Y plugin in defining a custom accessibility rule set. Yeah, um, just come here. Yeah, so this is it from the um, web page. You will actually see that you can create a custom check on the on your site yeah and then there are quite a lot of things you could explore here you could use the inbuilt selectors and then you could use some utility components and then you could define it as a, a button notation and then you have the option of using this method which is this the salid or root and then you can use your default javascript doc documents query selector and then highlight text, you could use the warning highlight text or error highlight text. I think we have some sort of, some of them here like, uh, okay, we just try to go through it and then um, let's come here. So this is like a sample. It's, yeah, a sample, let's say over using a component on a page. So you could actually use this to define um, the over when you use a over use a component on your page and then you could use this to say okay um this for nested accordion containing a form which is kind of problematic so let's just go ahead and then we we'll go to our bakery demo site yeah so this is my bakery demo site on firefox and then we could actually see a lot here okay so so just come here and try, try to open. So what rule set should we define? Okay, let's say I want to, this is my gallery page. So I want to define a rule set to say in a, in a single gallery page, you shouldn't have more than 20 images. Yeah, we could, you could see we have uh, roughly maybe 30 something here. So we don't want it, we don't want to have more than 30 something images in a gallery page. We want to have less than that. So if I should turn on my checker now, you see, just analyze everything without the, um, it's not keeping for the length of the um, images. So let's define a uh, custom rule set to cater for this. So, and, um, okay. So in defining that, um, in the previous screencast, you could remember that I had included this version, this logic here saying um, the Sally custom checks the PSM.js. Yes. So in this file is where we defined our um, custom rule set here. And then I think I have mine cleared already. So but by default, in yours, you should see some um, predefined rule set that comes with it, some sample rule set. Yeah, that comes with it. So let's let's just go on and let's use this. So this is the class, this is a SA11Y custom checks class. So we want to extend this class. Yeah. We want to extend this class to to like cater for um our uh, custom rule set. So we could define the error good or warning messages yeah so these are just like syntax so we could define any of this and then in this section is where we are going to define our custom messages yeah so our custom messages should go within this path here and then we just say um let's say let's say c is equal to and then we try to open it yeah, so we say um, it's going to be announcement. Yeah, let's define it as a, con uh, a constant here. Yeah. Announcement, uh, message. So, all right, so we just define it, say, okay, no more than. 20 images should 
will be in a single gallery page yeah so we've defined this and then you could have multiple um messages here so we just say announcement message and let's just use it announcement message so we've defined our announcement message here and then the next thing to do is uh we want to define our custom rule set here yeah so in defining our custom rule set here what we have to do with there is a you could come to your browser and then let's try to inspect to get the um, class carrying this yeah so we could just come and then say um, I try to right and then okay so let's try to get up for this okay so well that's interesting there it's carrying it's an uh, on other list carrying several list items yeah so it's made it more interesting we just need to say um this on another list shouldn't take more than 10 items or 20 items right so what's the class list image all right okay so let's just come back to um let's come back to uh, where we are defining uh custom checks and then we we'll say constant uh check check gallery is equal to this that's s a one y and then um so i'm not i'm not like picking it off my head that's part of what we get from the s a one y um site so we could actually extend this and then let's say we try to pick this yeah so let's pick that and then come here we say yeah so it's interesting let's say we want to extend this class and um we could just try to extend the class so we say you l dot listing that it's images and uh okay. so i'm sure we are all like pretty familiar with this um concept in javascript so i'm just picking the classes it's not i'm not picking anything special it's more okay. yes. it's on on other list so having the listing images and then we pick the um li classes so it's not like i'm picking something uh, new okay so we've defined our uh, um, variable called check gallery and then we want to locate this and after that we can now add the um, conditional statement here we say uh, so how do we say it? so we we try to get the length and then getting the length should be from here so this one if this dot length is uh, greater than 20 so we use 20 it's just 10 yeah so if it's greater than 10 then we iterate through each of them and uh, we try to add some interesting border around them okay so um i define my uh for loop yeah and then i say let i equal to 10 yeah so we want to start from the 10th item yeah and uh we want to start from the 10th item then i said let i is equal to 10 and uh i sorry i is less than uh check gallery oops i forgot okay check gallery dot length and then so uh i plus plus yeah so we have that so we've initialized our um what's the name we've initialized our loop we've set it to start from um the tenth item and then to the max and then it reads so the next thing is we want to say okay the 
object gallery at i uh, dot so we will now want to add the um sda one or y classes to it so let's come back here say okay what can we add the class list dot add so we want to add the border so we come back here and then we say yeah so so we want to add the I feel we are we shouldn't add an error border it should be a warning border so I think we have the logic for that yeah so this is a warning border we want to add a warning border to it and then we just copy it down here and then bam okay so we have it and uh, the next thing is uh, we want to add a section for our message saying okay we want you to add this uh, message down here so i'll just try to explain everything one after the other okay so this is for our, we are getting there and then let's just try to print it and then we say um so what do we do next let's say Let's try to adjust these and then so try to adjust this and try to adjust this also. Yeah, and then all right, so we've tried to adjust them. It's now the main for us to shape it back to our uh, own. So I love to use this object reference in that I love to use it as the what's the name okay so this part before I clean it this is saying m dot warning that we didn't define a, a warning message in an object so we we'll just call it directly because we define it as a constant here so we we'll just call a warning message here bam so this is referencing okay we want this kind of uh, we want to display a warning a message, so this should come as a warning you get. And then the next thing is a warning message here. So uh, I don't really like this, though we might use it also. So let's just use the dot um, object referencing. So we just pick dot announcement message, which is this. Pick the C dot announcement message, and then if we happen to define this. Um, constant the error warning or good um, values in a in an object then we could actually use this notation also but let's just pick it like this and um, we'll try to say so let's go by it again and then see what else do we have it's not okay so we've successfully picked the graph here and then say all these items in that class we say once it's greater than 10 start from the um 11th item since I, uh, an array always starts from zero so start from the 11th item till the last item we create keep uh, increasing and then um what you need to do there is you add the class for sally one in our uh, border so yeah we made a mistake here so this is you know we copied this from uh the sa one one y site so we should change it to us and then this should be it so let's say on iterating, keep adding this warning border to each images and then displaying this warning messages to them. So let's try to save that and uh, let's go back to our um, page to see. So I'll just try to refresh and then try to see if it's actually work. Okay, so we can see it now. Let's try to open our essay one on one. Uh, oh. This is cool. So you can actually see that, okay, from the 10th item, we have the yellow border saying no more than 20 images should be in a single gallery page. This is coming as a warning message. Let's try to push this up. We have confirmed that our custom checks is now there. Let's try to push this up and uh, try to um, extend our images, uh, extend our warning message to say, please move image so i 
to a, to a new page. So let's try to save that. So here we want to say, please move the image, the current image to a new page. So try to spice things up and check what we have. So okay, you can say, please move image 10 to a new page. Oh, it's now displaying nice. So let's try to give some spaces there. Okay. And then I save again. Try to refresh and then what we see here now is please move image 10 to a new page. Please move image 12 to a new page. Move image 14. Move image 15, which is this, to a new page. And then we get to the last item. Please move image 28 to a new page. So this is interesting. We've successfully um, defined a custom text for our um, SA11Y plugin. And I think you could actually take the most out of it. So thank you very much for listening to me. Once again, I'm Omar Farouk.